Hey everybody, this is Shannon with Smoke in the Wild and on this episode I am going to be making reverse seared venison backstrap with a very special compound butter, a shrimp, onion and mushroom reduction in a very cool way. I'm going to be making cheese grits as well as bacon smoked collard greens. You don't want to miss this episode, we're fixing to get wild. Ah, there he is right there. The hardest part about doing this, really any meal that has this kind of complexity and multi, you know, many, many portions is just timing. So in speaking of that, I'm going to go ahead and kick the uh, stove off to get the cheesy grits going because they're going to take about 20, 25 minutes. Right after that, I'm going to go put this backstrap, this venison backstrap on the hasty bake and I'm going to cook this to an internal temperature of 130 degrees. Now I highly recommend that you serve venison backstrap at an internal temperature of 135 to 140 degrees. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is by using a meat thermometer, which I'm going to be using. But the reason why I'm going to pull it at 130 degrees is because I'm going to bring it in here to the stovetop. I've got the compound butter and I've already got medallions of it in the cast iron skillet. I'm going to bring that venison backstrap in here and I'm going to reverse sear it. You talk about unbelievably good. That's it. And then I'm going to be making some apple smoked thick cut bacon and collard greens. And I'm also going to be using some of the renderings from the smoked pork fat that I used when I ground the fat for the uh, deer processing, the video that we posted last week. This is some of the renderings from that. You open this up, you get the smokiness. I'm going to add onion. I am going to add mushroom. I am going to add some smoked roasted garlic that I did just yesterday, along with a few other ingredients. All the while, everything else is cooking. It's a very simple meal, but wait till you see it plated and wait till you taste it. This is fantastic. So let's go on to the next step. I've got the hasty bake up to 300 degrees. All right, it's smoking really good with that pecan wood. I'm gonna get into what I've actually done to the both of these backstrap pieces when we get back inside. All right, we've put the backstrap on. I've kicked the, the stove top up. We're gonna start the cheesy grits here in just a moment. I've got the backstrap going at about 300, 325 degrees. I wanna tell you what I did to prep that. Okay, I took two pieces of backstrap, I put it in that that pan, I coated it in olive oil, and on one of them, I coated it with, on both sides with cattle call, one of my all-time favorite rubs, and on the other one, I coated it with bearded butcher's black. You hear me talk a lot about their Hollywood blend, but their black blend is unbelievable. It's got coffee, molasses, it's an absolutely killer, killer rub. So on the other piece of backstrap, I've got that going, all right? We're going to cook that, like I said, to an internal temperature of 130 degrees. We're going to pull it off. We're going to bring it in, put it in the cast iron skillet that I've already got medallions of the compound butter that I made this morning, and we're going to reverse sear it. All right, we're almost to a boil on the stovetop for the cheesy grits. In here, I've added a little bit of granulated garlic, some sea salt. It's ready to go. And then at the very end, I'm going to put in some sharp cheddar cheese. I'm going to put some basil, talk about good. Let's go on to the next step. All right, we've got the grits boiling on the stove. Now what I'm going to do, we've had the backstrap on the, the hasty bag now for about 10 minutes. I'm actually going to go out there with some medallions of this compound butter that I made this morning. All right, we're going to go put a couple of medallions along that backstrap on this side 
we're going to let that kind of reduce down by the time it melts down basically then it'll be time to take our tongs and flip it then also coat the other side with this compound butter and i'm just going to place it on the back strap and that's just going to melt on there which is also going to help keep that back strap from drying out adding flavor oh my goodness you're not going to believe what just that simple step does to this meat all right we're about 15 17 minutes into this cook the grits are almost done it's about time to add the cheese it's also time to go flip the venison back strap i guarantee you those that compound butter has melted evenly over those two pieces of back strap I'm all then going to add some more medallions of this compound butter. Then we're on to the next step. We're getting very, very, very close to plating and eating. Stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this. Let's go. All right. Open up this hasty baked gourmet. Yep, just like I knew it would. That compound butter has melted on one side. We're going to flip it. You That back strap is about eight minutes away from pulling off. And then we're going to put it in the uh, cast iron skillet and do a reverse sear. Well, I can't wait. The timer's going off, that means the grits are done. I'm gonna turn the heat off, add the cheese, let it slowly melt. By the time it's all ready, I'm telling you what, we're very, very close to plating, but we've got two more steps and then we'll be there. Woo, don't that look good right there. Now you didn't think I was gonna get away without a little unsaid twist. I'm gonna take just a scotch of half and half and I'm gonna add that to it. Then I'm gonna add this sharp cheddar cheese right to there. That's about a quarter cup. We like cheese in this house. So let me add about, an, I got about a quarter cup to half cup right there. Uh, let's just go ahead. Whew. All righty. We turned that fire off, just the residual heat from that cast iron, which is another reason why I love cooking on cast iron. It holds heat. That's gonna melt it, it's gonna be bubblicious. All right, I'm glad I went out and checked on this back strap. I tempt it, it was perfect. Maybe a couple degrees higher than I wanted it to be, but that's okay, we'll just shorten the time on the reverse sear. I went ahead and off camera cranked up that cast iron skillet, as well as the one that we're going to do the collard greens. I've already got the applewood smoked bacon going in that. I've also used part of the renderings right here from the smoked ground pork fat that I did when I was processing deer meat. I saved it, I've got that going in there, as well as the other skillet that I'm gonna take mushrooms, onion, and cut up shrimp, frozen shrimp that's been defrosted. That's right, so technically this meal can consider, be considered surf and turf. I'm also got a special ingredient that I'll talk to you about in just a minute. I gotta get busy, stay with me. So we've got the bacon, apple smoked bacon with roasted garlic and some of that rendered fat from that smoked pork fat that I did on the ground venison. We're sauteing that. I've also got this compound butter already pre-melted. This is the skillet that we're gonna be reverse searing, the back strap. And over here, I've melted some more of that compound butter. And this is where we're gonna put the onion, mushroom, and shrimp. And we're gonna do a reduction with a secret ingredient we're going to put all that on top of everything. Wait till you see this work out. In fact, let's go ahead, crank this skillet up. Let's go ahead and throw the onion in. It's going to take it a minute for it to caramelize. Right. Look at that right there. That bacon's getting crispy. All right, we got that going on. We've got this. The onions are caramelizing. All right, so now the timing of it. Let's go ahead and crank up the cast iron skillet to do the reverse sear on the back strap because we're getting ready to add everything at the same time. Watch what happens. First things first, let's add some mushrooms. All right, we're gonna let that go in there. We're gonna add the shrimp. All right, let's get that stirred in there. We're gonna have one more component to that. This is gonna be the gravy slash topping to everything. So let that shrimp get in there good. Now we're gonna add, we're gonna flash sear. Sear that, it won't take long. Let's crank up the volume on this skillet right here. It won't take long for that to get done. In fact, I can kill the heat on that right now because that is done. 
By the time we get done, it's going to be done. We've got this going on. And let's go ahead and do a reverse sear. About 30 seconds each side, maybe 45 seconds. Watch what happens. Just a little bit of salt. Not much. We're going to add just a scotch of granulated garlic. We're going to mix that in there. That's reducing down. All right, let's flip the back strap. Do that for about another 45 seconds. Let's stir this. Already killed the fire on this. All right, there's going to be some casualties of war falling off the side, but that's okay. That's all right. We got that going on. Let's kill the fire on the back strap. We're going to set it off in the same platter and we're going to let that rest. Now watch this. We're going to take some Marshall Brewing Company beer from right here in Tulsa, the Tulsa area, Big Jamoki. It's kind of on the same level as a Guinness. It's a very, very thick beer. We're going to pour that in there. All right. We're going to let that meld together. The heat will kill the alcohol, so don't worry about that. Let's put a little bit more. All right, the heat is gonna kill that. We're gonna reduce that down, and that's gonna be the topping of everything. And I'm gonna tell you what, it's absolutely fabulous. All right, folks, we are absolutely done. But I'm gonna plate everything, so what we've got is we've got the cheesy grits. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay that down as the base. Woo wee don't that look pretty? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut right down the middle. That is absolutely perfect. So I'm going to cut a couple of slices. We did the, we did the cattle call on these. Um, we did the bearded butcher black on this. I am going to cut two medallions for this. We're going to transfer it to the plate. Wait till you see this. All right, we're going to lay out. That is from the Bearded Butcher Black. This is from the Cattle Call. Then we've got the sauteed roasted garlic, applewood smoked infused with a little bit of rendered pork fat, collard greens. Woo, look at that. Then we have the Surf and Turf shrimp, mushroom, and onion. I want you to take a look at that right there. Let's add just a little bit more. Let's add some fresh parsley. All right, I've got everything out of the way. I've got this plate of food. Now all that's left is tasting this. So what I'm gonna do is I got a little bit oh, of that back strap. I'm gonna take a little of that surf and turf mushroom, get some of that cheesy grits, a little bit of those collard greens. Unlike the Dallas Cowboys, I just scored a touchdown. That right there is a touchdown, folks. You want to be a hero in the, in the kitchen? You need to make this right here. It's good. This is absolutely a gourmet meal in 30 minutes or less. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. I can't wait to eat this. The kids are upstairs, my wife is upstairs. They're dying to come down and eat. If you haven't subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button. Tell your friends if you like the content we're putting out. Regardless, I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great week.